what is going on guys thank you all so much for tuning in as always my name is Kyle and today we have another awesome collection video for you guys I'm actually going to be collecting two of my very best locations today my number one and number two location are both going to be collected in this video so you can kind of get an idea of you know if you hit one of those really good locations how much of a home run it can really be but uh, before I go ahead and get all into that, uh, just a one quick reminder, if you do get, want to uh, support this channel, uh, if you could just take a split second out of your day to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. And then if you are interested in being uh, featured in the comment or question of the day, uh, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll answer it below and then I'll also answer it in one of my videos as well uh, if you are the one selected. And then one last thing before we jump into this video is I do have some affiliate links in the description that if you do happen to click on one of them and then uh, you buy pretty much anything on Amazon uh, from that link, it doesn't have to be the product in the link itself, uh, it can just be anything on Amazon after clicking that link, uh, then I do get a small commission so that's another way that you guys can really help me out so that I can go ahead and upgrade some of my uh, recording equipment I would really love to get a, a really nice camera for these videos uh, and but I would like to be able to buy them with what I've made from these videos I think that would be pretty cool so anyway guys let's go ahead and jump right into the video all right so here we are at the first stop of the day this is my second best location out of my entire vending route now this previously was my best location but when I upgraded and put more equipment in one of my other spots that I'll be showing next this one became uh, my second best and that one became my best but look at all those quarters there in just one month and that is $97.50 in quarters I pay $19.50 of that in commission and then take home is $78 and then after gumballs they only cost me about three cents a piece so just about all of that $78 is profit so I'm very happy with that so go ahead and uh, fill this one up make it looking nice and good nice and full I feel like people definitely use machines more often especially if they're very full they look like they have definitely fresh gumballs fresh candy so definitely keep your machines nice and full if you can all right so here we are at the next stop of the day this is my best location overall like I said it previously was my second best but after putting in the vending toy rack uh, it became my best location overall and in case you were wanting wondering this is actually a trampoline park so lots of kids and I'm definitely gonna be trying to put a lot more equipment in there if I can now I go ahead open up the coin bank and dump it out and unfortunately I didn't take the time to separate it and look at what each specific machine make I only have the total number which I'll share uh, towards the end of this uh, part of the collection uh, but overall it is very good each machine always has a good amount of money and then I also did decide to switch out one of the decisions or one of the candy choices to Skittles this time around and that's because there's no reason not to have them it's a lower food cost they sell really well at pretty much everywhere I do indeed have Skittles and with two four-way machines there's really no reason not to have at least one of each selection of candies now surprisingly Chewy Spree I think are the best sellers here uh, maybe the gumballs do better in the toy rack not entirely sure but uh, they're both very good sellers for sure and then we'll see how well the skittles do uh, next time I collect that so go ahead top off all of this machine uh, get all the different candies filled up looking good definitely like having this machine at nice and full looking good and then we'll go ahead and move over to the toy rack here now while I work on getting this toy vending rack all set up, serviced, and collected, I'll go ahead and do the uh, question of the day, and it comes from Gaming Old School and asks, 
Great job, if you don't mind me asking, how large was the bulk route you purchased and what did it cost you? Alright, so first off, let me just say thank you so much for taking your time to ask this and very good question. Now, the vending route that I purchased had a total of 38 machines approximately half of them were on location grossing about five to six hundred dollars a month and then the remainder were in storage and most of them were all set and ready to go out but there are a few that are missing um, like just the coin mechanism so a few think few of the machines I need to get a coin mechanism before I get them out to location but overall I'm pretty happy with this deal I think that he was very happy with the deal as well and everyone involved ended up a winner I believe so win-win definitely a good way to do business now I probably could have got the route for a bit cheaper probably could have got it for about 2500 if I really really tried but you know I rather have a good reputation of doing business with people then really get that much better of a deal because in the end of the day reputation is far more important than saving a few hundred or a thousand dollars and while I continue to service this vending rack uh, there was three more spots that I did go to that didn't quite make it into the video today that will be in the end total so in case the numbers aren't quite adding up for you, I went to one spot with just gumball machines, one of my slowest locations, and had a 14 at 25 in about three months. A uh, very slow location, but over time it just kind of builds up, and it is gumball, so it is almost all profit. Uh, now, the next spot was about two months and had 29 at 75, also no commission, just like the last one I just mentioned, uh, and they were just about all gumball sales. Now, they were peanut M&Ms. It is a double head machine, but they moved it right by the window, so all of the peanut M&Ms got destroyed, basically. So I had to take them all out, clean out the whole machine, and then I switched them out for Chewy Spree. So I'm hoping that my uh, machine there will start increasing even more so in sales, but for now, I'm definitely happy with 15 bucks a month on average. And then there was one last spot that I stopped, and this one was also about two months, and it had $34.75, also no commission, and it has gumballs and peanut M&Ms. The gumballs made up probably $25 worth of the collection, and the peanut M&Ms the $10, uh, so I'm probably going to be switching out the peanut M&Ms in that spot for bouncy balls and it is a double head as well. So those are the other machines that I collected that aren't in this video. We'll go towards the total at the end of this video. And now that I am finishing up with this toy vending rack. Time to move on to the last machine on this location, which is another four-way machine, and I will actually probably be switching out one of the candies for a chewy candy as well, doing like half chocolate and half chewy candy. Uh, now, a chocolate cost me about 10 cents per vend, and a chewy candy generally cost me about 7 cents per vend while gumballs cost only like three cents per vent. So definitely trying to get the food cost down, especially considering this is one of my uh, locations that I do indeed pay a commission at. So definitely want to get my food cost as low as possible to make up for the fact that I have to pay a percentage to the place. Now, not that I think that paying commission is all terrible, uh, some of the much better locations I think is totally fine to pay commission because it really makes it justified by how well some of them do and then I also do have some locations that I pay commission at that I'm probably going to be telling them that I can no longer pay commission and if you don't want that then I'm just going to go ahead and take out the machine. And here is everything from this location altogether. We collected $251.75, 
paid $38 in commission. Product cost was $74.51 and we net $139.24 from this location. Here we are back home, time to deal with all of these quarters. Go ahead and dump out that first little bag and then we also have an entire uh, M&M jar completely full with quarters so very good collection today very happy with the results for you know just a, a few hours of work but go ahead and dump it all out so you can see how many quarters it is all laid out all over the table all those quarters but today we ended up collecting a gross of $428 we paid $57.50 in commission and product cost was $104.66 for a net of $265.84 alright and that is going to just about wrap up this video and if you enjoyed this video please make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below or a question if you want to be featured in the question of the day, and I will catch you all in the next one.